Hi everybody and welcome to the Scott Show. We are rocking it out here, making it happen, uh, doing all the really cool stuff that we are doing. It's the exercise show and we're talking about the challenge. So the challenge is on, at least for this week, it is October 1st. Today it goes to the 8th, it's 10 push-ups, 50 sit-ups, a 1 minute plank, and 50 squats. And then we're going to be doing that, uh, I'm going to be doing that every single day. Uh, for this week, and then we'll change it up on Saturday, on Sunday. Next Sunday, we will change it up and go to the ninth until that following Sunday, and and do it up. That's what we're gonna do here on the Scott Show podcast, the exercise show. Uh, what we're gonna do though is I want you guys to uh, be more involved in this show. Let me know what your challenges are. Let me know what your goals are. We're going to try to work them out together. It's not just about me. You know, often uh, people say, well, you know, it's just, it's all about, uh, it's all about the person who's talking and, and they're just going to do what they want and stuff like that. That's not the way it's going to roll here, folks. We are going to make it happen together. Uh, that's why I'm doing this exercise podcast. We're going to talk about how to better yourself in many different ways. We're going to have talks about how you can do that food wise and you know just everything cuz you know you want to better yourself if you want to be a better runner if you want to be uh better on the weights uh you know if you just want to feel better about yourself that's why we're doing this podcast the exercise the workout with the scat show podcast uh, right next to me I have a 10 pound bell it's what I used for um it's the dumbbell and it's what I used for the squats. So I did a little uh, dumbbell squatting. 50 of those I did today. Uh, 50 sit-ups. That was harder than I thought. But my floor was squeaky. Uh, so we're going to probably change that up uh, somewhat. Just so I can not squeak when I do a sit-up. It sounded weird, folks. It did. It did, it did. Alright, so I wanted to get to this, uh, folks. Because it's a big uh, conversation. Anytime fitness who I absolutely love and I go to um, all the time, they uh, brought out a little blog talking about coffee with an estimated 2.25 billion cups of coffee consumed worldwide on the daily. I I love that, on the daily. And they're talking about how you can uh, use coffee. Um, It reduced your risk of... uh, Heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and liver disease. You know, just a little bit. Increases your alertness, your weight management, uh, by increasing your energy, and increased longevity. So you can actually live longer uh, drinking coffee from uh, from this thing. You know, folks, I think that it's probably going to be like the egg in the long run. And it's going to be like, it's good, it's bad, it's good, it's bad. And the conversation will keep going and going until the end of time. Um, now, I do have to say with the, with the conversation on coffee, I'm also seeing there's an Arby's commercial on my computer. And I am not doing deep fried foods for another week. And it is killing me hardcore. I did the, I did the color run. And I also, um, you might see the unicorn metal. That is the picture on there. That's from the color run. Uh, And when I did the color run, there were deep fried foods all over the place. They handed you a bag of chips when you got done. I'm like, I cannot eat these bag of chips. So I had to give them away. And then people came over and they had cheese curds. And I love cheese curds. And I love mozzarella sticks. And folks, if I say another deep fried food, I'm going to go crazy. Okay, I'm going to say it anyway. I wanted Mexican food the other day, and then I thought, I shouldn't go and have Mexican food because I'm going to want tortilla chips. And then what's going to happen? That's deep fried. You can't even have tater tots when you're on this no deep fried food diet. But let me tell you something right now, and I'm super, I'm just, grr and grr. There is uh, stuff out there saying you can stay away from all of this stuff. White bread, ice cream, snacks, whatever. You know, people, when you limit yourself and make that your kind of diet, and, you know, you can do challenges week, month, like I do. I do the, you know, no deep fried foods for a month challenge. 
no soda pop. You know, I cut that out of my diet. I I totally cut. I do no soda pop anymore. The only time I do anything kind of carbonated is when I am drinking a, a drink, a alcoholic beverage. If there's any soda in it, oh well. But I will not just sit there and say, all right, I need a 12-pack of Mountain Dew and I need that stat. You know, I ain't going to do that. Before, I was crazy in the Mountain Dew. And that cost me. So, you know, I love my coffee. I love tea. I drink the pure leaf tea all the time. I like that stuff. So, there you go. Now, folks, I'm going to be doing the harvest run next week. It's going to be a great time. It's a 5K. I'm looking at doing a 10K before the season is done. Making it happen here on the Scott Show and in real life. I always got to make it happen no matter what. Uh, but we will be doing lots more exercises, getting ourselves pumped up for different things. Sit-ups, push-ups, making it happen. So, folks, all, all I need from you guys is some likes, some shares, subscribe uh, to our podcast on YouTube. It's at tinyurl.com slash 102550. I need some comments, though, about what you guys think. Uh, what you guys, what do you lift when you go out to the gym? What's your deal when you go to the gym? Now, see, I hit the ellipticals, and I hit the treadmills, and, you know, I do, I do cardio, cardio, cardio. I am a cardio king. Uh, that's what I do. When I hit the gym, it is all about cardio. Uh, when I, you know, I don't lift a lot. I sometimes you, I don't use the free weights a lot either. What I do is I go up to the um, place where the machines are, and I do the shoulder lift, and I also do the the chest lift. And man, I'll tell you, I feel pr- I feel pretty damn good about myself. I just gotta say that I feel really really good about myself because I I think that I'm in better shape than I have been in a long time. I kind of showed that yesterday when I ran the Insane Inflatable um, 5K. And then next week, of course, the big harvest run. We're going to make that happen. So, folks, I'm going to get off of here right now. I wanted to get you guys day one of the exercise day. We're going to have something to talk about tomorrow. We're going to talk about core exercising and what what you can do to better your core muscles and make them happen. Uh, get that six pack you don't have to buy at the store. Get that beach body, even though it's gonna be winter time, folks. Some of you are going on vacation. Um, I know it. You know you don't have you don't have to be lying to me. I know you're going on vacation. I know you're going somewhere warm. Go to Puerto Rico and build a house. That's some exercise. Um, by the way, shout out to all the people that are actually doing that because there are people actually doing that and they are wonderful people. So I'm going to head out, folks. This has been Scott. This has been the exercise, the workout with the Scott Show show. So check us out, tinyurl.com slash 102550.